The second big problem we have is our young people. Again, let us not cheat ourselves. It is our young people. We have a youth bulge that if not properly handled can be a time bomb that can blow this country to pieces. And the handling of that has to be done extremely carefully. Extremely carefully. That is not a problem of this community or that. It affects us all. But how we manage it, we must manage it very carefully. We cannot manage it through inciting them. All right? We must manage it by including them, including them in our decision-making processes. And that is why I said in Kisi during the Mashuja Day celebrations, if we are to deal with our youth problem, we must deal with our economy. And there is no country in the world that has ever developed on a five-year cycle of politics. You can never develop on a five-year cycle. And if you cannot develop your economy, how do you create the jobs? If every cycle you spend one whole year, and in this case, in our case, it's two years, before the election campaigning, then you spend another two years after the election campaign trying to sort out the political mess. Umebaki na mwaka moja kufanya kazi. Uchumi kweli tutapanua. Wenzangu. Vijana kweli tutawapatia kazi. Ya? Nandipo niliwambia juzi wakati tulikuwa tumeenda kuanzisha mradi Wahawa vijana. Na nikawambia my friends. Be very careful. It is very exciting and it is very sweet. But we must stop this culture of use and dispose of our young people. And instead, <laughs> develop and deepen a process, which again I want to thank these gracious men and women, because they have looked into those issues, of how we can systematically and in a very clear and thought out manner enable our young people who are our future to be a productive part of Kenyan society. And nobody can do that. I can't do it alone. We must be together. And we must engage in that conversation together. Tunayelewana wenzangu. And I strongly believe if we just deal with those two issues, and I know there are many other issues